from Crafty Kinder and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty card. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a three and three quarter by five inch piece of very vanilla cardstock and I've already gone ahead and used my sponge dauber and my early espresso ink and sponged the edges. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our color spritzer and we're just going to put in our crumb cake marker and we're going to spritz off of our paper first and we want to make sure that we're only getting a light mist and we're just going to lightly mist over the entire piece of cardstock there. I'm going to remove that marker and grab our Baja Breeze and we're going to stick the tip in a lot further this time and again always make sure you test off the paper first and you see how we get splotchy that's what we want and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper back on there and we're just going to put some splotchy pieces of this Baja Breeze on there okay remove that marker and we're done with our spritzer next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our card base and our card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half in its early espresso and we're going to take our a Baja Breeze piece and this Baja Breeze piece measures four inches by five and a quarter and what I've done on it is I've sprayed it and you'll see a shimmer on there with a little bottle that has rubbing alcohol and some of our frost white shimmer paint inside and let it dry we're going to take our snail runner and run some snail across it and center it on the front of our card. Okay, and press it down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with the piece of very vanilla that we just used our spritzer tool on. And adhere it down, centered onto that piece of Baja Breeze. And then we're going to set this aside. Next thing we're going to do is take a scrap piece of very vanilla cardstock and using stamps from the I Heart Stamps stamp set, we're going to take the filigree heart stamp and the polka dot heart stamp on our clear block. We're going to take our Waha Breeze and our Crumb Cake marker again and using the brush side, I'm going to color over the polka dot heart with my crumb cake marker. Okay. And then I'm going to take the brush side of my Baja Breeze marker and color in the filigree heart. Okay. I'm going to blow on my stamp. And I'm going to stamp it onto my scrap piece of very vanilla. And I got both of them stamped out at once. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. And I've already done that ahead of time. And on top of just cutting it out, I have also sponged around the edges with early espresso and my sponge dauber. And I've put snail on the back hump of the polka dot heart. And I'm just going to press it onto the filigree so it's overlapping just a bit. Going to grab my my mat pack, hard surface, and my foam, and I'm going to take my paper piercer and pierce a hole. And this is just to mark where I want to um, poke a hole with my crocodile. And I'm going to use the one eighth inch hole punch on my crocodile and punch it out. And after I do that, I'm going to take a clear rhinestone brad, push it through the hole, and open up my prongs. And 
making sure that when I open them up and I push them flat that they aren't going to be showing on the outside. And we're going to set those aside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take about a three inch piece of very vanilla satin ribbon and about a three inch piece of early espresso grow grain ribbon and I've already put two pieces of sticky strip on either side of the grow grain ribbon and on the back side of the very vanilla satin. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the backing off one side of the early espresso piece. We're going to line it up on the top side, centering it from either side of the very vanilla and pressing down. Then what we're going to do is take the sticky strip off the back of the very vanilla satin ribbon and using our index finger we're going to make a loop of just the satin ribbon lining it up and pressing down. I'm going to take the back off of the other side of the grow grain. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press down our satin ribbon and take our grow grain and make sure that it's still centered, pressing it down on top so that way we get a nice double loop. And we're going to go ahead and take a piece of sticky strip and put it down on the bottom of this and we're going to leave the backing on and we'll get back to that later. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our greeting and our greeting comes from the Occasional Quotes stamp set and this is a hostess set. It's a level three and our front greeting is love begins in a moment, grows over time, and lasts in eternity. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamp Art markers again and just using the Baja Breeze, we're only going to color in the word love. And then we're going to take our early espresso using the brush tip. We're going to color in all the rest of the words on this greeting. that onto a three and three eighths by one and a quarter piece of very vanilla cardstock and I have a piece of snail on my grid mat to hold this in place while I use my stamp -a jig and this is a piece of vellum cardstock and I've already stamped my greeting on there and what you're going to do is you're going to line up your greeting in the center of that piece of cardstock where you want it, hold down the vellum, take your stamp -a jig and put it so that it catches on the vellum, not so it's on top, it should remove freely. Still holding down on your stamp -a jig, you're going to blow on your stamp to re-moisten the ink, put it in the top of the crook of your stamp -a jig and stamp straight down and pull straight up and you've got a perfect stamp just where you want it. We're going to go ahead and take this and my sponge stopper with early espresso ink and we're going to sponge all the edges and when we're done sponging all these edges we are going to layer it on to a piece of early espresso cardstock and this piece measures three and a half by one and a half inches I'm going to put some snail on the back of this greeting. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the right side of our greeting and line it up on the right side of your early espresso, making sure that you center it from the top and the bottom, pressing down. And by doing that, we get a nice even border on just three of the edges. Then what we're going to do is take that ribbon loop that we made a little bit ago, remove the backing on that piece of sticky strip 
and then we're going to place it on the back showing as much as the ribbon loop as we want centering it and pressing down and then again we're going to set it aside we're going to go ahead and grab another piece of very vanilla cardstock and this piece measures five and a quarter five and a quarter by four inches and I've already sponged the sides with early espresso ink we're going to take another greeting from that same stance set and this time using our same jig we're only going to color in the congratulations and we're going to do that with our early espresso marker Again, lining up our stamp of a J so that it catches on the piece of vellum. Remove the vellum, blow on your stamp. Put it into the top of the crook, the right direction, and then stamp straight down and bring straight up. Congratulations, ends up exactly where you want it on the page. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some snail to the back of this piece grab our card base again, open it up and center this on the inside. Press down. Then we're going to take that greeting piece and with the back we're going to grab our Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to use some of this edging and I'm going to put some edging on here. making sure that you don't put it on the ribbon because the ribbon is a little bit thicker than the rest of the cardstock and that will throw it off. And you're going to remove the dimensional backing from this piece. And we're going to put it onto the front of our card, lining up the right edge of this with the edge of the Baja Breeze cardstock. And then taking our two hearts that we have and putting some dimensionals on them, we are going to remove the backing. And place them at an angle on the left corner, just how we want them. And that's how fast and easy this card goes together. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you next time.